My name is Dwight Curry. I served my country in the first Gulf War. When I got home, I could no longer hold my job, and someone told me about the vending. Vets were always allowed to vent. Any person who came out of the service and wanted to vent in the streets of New York was allowed. They got a state license and superseded everything else, and, and that was the way it was always. And Donald Trump shut it down. Well, I was here on Fifth Avenue, vending, you know, t-shirts, gun glasses, and things like that. I've seen the guy walk around here, making sure that we stay away from his building. As you see across the street, he got flower pots all around it to stop us from vending. And if it wasn't for guys like me and these other guys to go out and fight, fight wars, go across, uh, across foreign countries to fight wars, they wouldn't have a country. They wouldn't have a, a place to put their flower pots or to, to put their buildings. Donald Trump felt that vending depreciated the value of his property. Now, I don't, I don't think my cots and I saw it's one of the nicest cots in New York. But they went ahead and they, they actually got the vessel off the street. Hey, how you doing, sir? How's everything? People don't understand that the have no other choices. Have, who's going to hire someone who goes to the VA twice a week? Who's going to hire someone who's got deep PTSD? These guys, they, they, they want their self-esteem back, but they, you know, they get knocked down. When I heard that Donald Trump was running for president, I said, this is an outrage. This person has, does not think about the little people. And I can't understand how a man who's been given everything all his life could deprive you of making that 40 bucks a day. I mean, I don't get it. Hillary Clinton is a friend of the veterans. When she was a senator here in New York, she took control of my case and she made sure that I got my benefits.